Happy New Year. Awesome. Looks like an armament went off. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on for the last couple of months. Um, basically, what we're doing here is we have three machines that are all identical in every spec. They're all Optiplex Dells 310s. Um, they all run the same CPU, the same amount of RAM, uh, the same drivers, same Windows install. They're identical. They're all hooked to a low latency um, data cloud server. Excuse me. Anyway, they're all hooked to a low latency cloud server that optimizes and runs a certain program. The storage, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna bring up the systems and I'm gonna show you that um, just the memory and the CPU is the only things that are being taxed. There is zero storage being used on these devices. Um, the storage is actually at the data center that the machines are networked and hooked into, essentially. Here, this, so basically the, the simple of it is, is let's see here, we got it hooked to a monitor and then everything is fed into a network switch. The video gets pumped into this switch. And then what you do is whenever you want to pull up something, if I want computer one, there's computer one. If I want computer two, it will then flip. And then there is computer two. If I want computer three, hit the button again. And then there you go, computer three. Now, so I don't have to hook a keyboard and mouse to all three machines. The simple way of doing it, and I was like, well, I was going to get a software that did it for me and blah, 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 blah. But it was more things that were taxing the system, and I didn't want to do that to it. So, I did it the lazy way. You just take it, plug it in, right? So, I'm on system two. I go up here to my switch. I hit number two, and then system two will pop up. There it is. Sis, whoa, it's a little blurry, ain't it? Like that. All right. Um, and that's basically how I use the mouse and keyboard and stuff for the machines. Um, if you can see here that there is no, basically no disk space being used. That's because the, uh, the data center that the machines are hooked to, all of the storage is, is stored over there. So nothing ever touches these. You can see that we're using all, you know, 71% of the memory and at times we'll go up to 30% on the CPU. It just depends on the task and stuff that they got going on right now or whatever it is that they're doing. Okay, so the data packages like this one, data image based, package based, um, all of that stuff. And you can see over here what type of file it is, PNG, XHR, XHR. Um, and then over here it gives you the initiator, which is the, the web address from where it's coming from. Here's the size of the packages that are being sent back and forth. And then here is the speed at which the packages are being sent. It's kind of, it's a very simple, you know, setup. There's nothing really too, too crazy behind it. It's just, it was a lot of fun to work. Hopefully it works. If, if it does, if I can get this to work and it works, um, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but basically, it's, um, it's tapped into a data center. And whatever the data center wants to use the machines for, it'll allow. And I go from there and I get paid for it. I'm curious to see what it can do. The data center that I'm hooked to is a RQ4 um, software style data center. It has... 10 gigabit and 244 hertz and all that other crazy stuff that I don't understand. Um, and I basically share a piece, a small piece of whatever it is that they're doing. So my machines, like sometimes, like earlier today, 
they must have sent, they must have had these machines doing something because I heard the fans revving up on all three of them pretty loud. So they were really crunching them earlier today. I hope you guys like this video. I just kind of wanted to show y'all what I was up to and what I've been getting into. Um, I like the machines, man. They work great. Focus. Yeah, these machines work awesome. I want more. I'm thinking about buying at least two or three more and hooking them together. But I want to see what these machines can do first. So, But alright guys, I'm getting out of here. Appreciate you guys. You guys be cool, and I'll see you all in the next video. Hopefully the weather will get better, and I can finish the um, the other project that I'm working on. <laughs> all right, you guys be cool.